What's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Simon Trivita, and today I'm going to teach you something. When we're talking about melody, I feel like the driving force of it is the emotion, and the feeling, and the, the vibe. And in order to get that vibe, I feel like it has less to do with the actual melody and more to do with everything surrounding it. I have to start by saying that this tutorial is going to be very subjective. When it comes to the connection between music and emotion, there's not really theory behind it. So for example, if I play C major, we're really associating it with something happy, but there's nothing about these three notes that theoretically mean happiness. It's just that a lot of happy songs were made in a major key and a lot of sad songs were made in a minor key. So the first thing I want to talk about is this concept called reharmonization. Reharmonization is when we restructure the harmony of a song. So for example, if I have some chords in a melody, we're going to keep the melody the same, but we're going to change the chords. And if we do that effectively, we can create a lot of different vibes from it. So let's get a really simple melody. So I'm thinking twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you... There we go. Okay. In your classic nursery rhyme, we'd get something really simple and happy. So probably a C major. Uh, probably F major. Back to C. There we go. Two, three. Probably go back to F major. G major right at the end. And then back to C major. And now this is our harmony. So now we're going to reharmonize it and see what we come up with. The easiest method to do this is to stick with chords within your scale. Uh, we are in the key of C major, so we have seven chord possibilities. So we have C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished. So this harmony is really happy right now, so let's do something a bit sadder. The sad vibe is mainly associated with minor chords, so D minor, E minor, and A minor will probably be our best bet. First starting melody is C, which is also in the chord of A minor, so let's start with this one first. This A, we can match it up with this D here. This G can match up with this E minor. We can match up the F with the D minor. This E matches up with A minor. This D, we can try a B diminished instead, and we can end it on A minor. Okay, so let's hear that now. It doesn't sound that great. Uh, first of all, it's kind of muddy, so let's move it up an octave. Let's just improve this a bit. I just want to do some voice leading first. We'll just move these down an octave so it's more compact. When you're still a beginner at reharmonizing, it's best to stick within the scale. But once you get more advanced at music theory, you can start leaving the scale. For example, I'm going to move this B to the C sharp here. This creates a diminished chord, which is a lot darker. We have this common tone at the G here, and this diminished chord leads into the D minor really well. Let's do one more example. So we made a really quick melody here. So let's make this really dark sounding. I think we're in the key of C minor. So we have once again, seven chord options. Chords are C minor, D diminished, E flat major, F minor, G minor, A flat major, B flat major. I want this one to be dark, so let's stick with the dark chords. We'll start with C minor. Uh, we'll use F minor, just invert it like that. I think we'll use G minor, invert it as well. Back to C minor. Uh, I like just repeating it like this. Uh, let's make this a D diminished actually. So this is what we have. Let's do some cuts. So this is the dark version of the melody, so let's try and change the vibe by reharmonizing it. Let's try and use some of the major chords. So our first note is G. I want to use the A flat major. Now, if we combine these two together, it creates a major seven chord. We see a D here. Let's use the B flat major. Uh, let's bring this one back. We have a G. We can use the E flat major like this. A 
Another important thing when it comes to creating emotion is your sound selection. For example, if I use something like a toy piano, you might associate it with something happier. As opposed to using something like a Rhodes, which would be much smoother. We also associate bright with happiness, so we can just move something down an octave to make it darker. We can also EQ out some of the top end. But I think the best way to practice is to experiment and figure it out for yourself. For you guys, I feel like the best way to practice is to make a melody and then just go through every single chord of the scale and just see what you come up with. Let's try C major under this. That sounds really happy. Let's try it under D minor. Now that sounds kind of jazzy. Let's try it under E minor. Now there's a lot of tension in there. Uh, F major kind of melancholy now. And once you get really comfortable with that, you can create a lot of different vibes because you'll know what notes go with what chords and what chords go with what chord progressions. Now, if you want to get a loop kit with a bunch of different vibes, I just released one on Tree Sound's website. There's a lot of different vibes and genres in this one. So for example, we have this really dark one here. Perfect for something like trap. We have something really soft and relaxing like this one. Melancholy at the same time. We have this one where it's really dark and mysterious and jazzy. Something really soft and RB like this. Something more dark and gritty like this. Then we have this straight, ignorant, trap medium stuff like this. I put a lot of time into this loop kit, so if you're a producer who's really creative and who likes to experiment and try new things, I highly suggest you get this. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, if you want to get my full house loop kit, it's going to be the first link in the description. Let me know what other tutorials you want, and I'll see you guys soon. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here.